on YouTube, it's your boy Vince, and today we are back with another reaction. Today we're back into It Got Worse. Now, if you don't know who this goofy is on my screen, Whoa. his name is Jack Doher Dirty. I hate him. Now, it's not a lot of people I genuinely hate that I've never said a word to. But this guy is one of them. He just be doing nonsense, bro. He think he a tough guy. Like, he one of those dudes in school that talk crazy, then go tell the teacher when you say, let's square up. Come on, bro. What are you snitching for? You was doing all that talking. You a thug, right? You a thug. Let's put these hands up there. Let's fight. No, bro. I'm getting flashbacks. Take me back to my prime. Y'all may or may not have seen some of his pranks, but the one that got me most mad that I can remember off the top of my head is him walking around the mall, just bumping into people for no reason, and then hide behind his big black security guards. What? I'm like, bro, that type of stuff just make me mad, bro. You're not a tough guy. He be talking all that mess, but when he gets smacked, he gonna cry to mommy. Oh, mommy, I'm sorry. Yeah. some of y'all are probably thinking y'all are probably thinking like you know mind your business he doing his thing you do your thing all right cool acceptable you know i don't have no problem with that the problem i had is when i walked past my living room tv a couple days ago and i seen him on my tv and my little brother watching it <laughs> jack do you know what you almost did to my little brother i almost punched him right in his nose i promise you i said I said, I said, I know you ain't watching this. This better be an ad or something. He said, no, I'm watching Jack Doherty. Oh, I promise you he's gonna catch one. Oh. I promise you for a split second that wasn't my brother anymore. I saw red. I was gonna drag him across the floor because, you know, let me find out he one of them kids at school that talking all that mess, but then get dragged. Come on, bro. That ain't it. You are lame. Bruh. So we finna get into this video and see what's going wrong in Jack Doher Dirty's life. So let's get into it. Let's go. Um, we caught up with streamer Jack Doherty. Both he and his former bodyguard were facing a lawsuit based on an incident that went down last Halloween night. Okay. Over the last year in general, Jack has made himself the subject of a lot of online ridicule, mainly for being extremely annoying when out in public. Let's go. Watch the language. There's kids around here. I didn't say any curse words. What'd I say? Just watch your language. What'd I say? You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shirt, your kids can't read, though. Huh? I mean, don't get me wrong. This guy's been building up his career. My kids can't read? Imagine my kid is eight years old sitting right next to me, and he says, your kid can't read in front of me. I'm not going to lie. As his daddy, I have to personally pick this little white boy up by the back of his sweater and just hang him and just pop, 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 pop. Repeatedly, I hit him so hard, my phone fell out my pocket. <laughs> for the greater part of the last decade. Also, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. It really means a lot. And I believe at one point he was actually considered to be like a decent creator on YouTube. But obviously over the years, his He's on Dr. Phil. has taken a massive hit. And I would say at this point, the grand majority of people do not have a favorable opinion about him. And now recently, some allegations have been levied against him by another internet cancer named Neon, who claimed that Jack used his power and influence to sign OF girls to his agency pretty much the minute they turn 18. Doing so by apparently bringing them out to a yacht party. Here's family number one. Hey, Jack, you, bro. I was actually speaking highly of you for the first time. You want to come here and talk? It's all good, bro. It's all good. It's all good. I just don't give a anymore, man. I, I, I just don't care, bro. You get 17-year-old girls the night before their birthday. You, got, you buy a $10,000 yacht every time. You get them drunk and they sign a contract 50% of their life every single time. Now, if this is true especially the, okay. the influence part, yeah. then obviously that is illegal activity. But I will say, so far, I have not seen a lot of cold hard evidence to back up these claims. Regardless, I guess that Jack has been seeing this narrative circulating online, and so he actually went out of his way to put out a video response. All right, so this is the last thing I want to address because I think it's the last thing I have to address, but basically there's this rumor saying that I sign minor fans, get them drunk on yachts, make them sign contracts, whatever. That is the most untrue false allegation I've ever heard, and I've never felt like I had to respond to it because it was just so dumb. But one person came up with that rumor, and the whole internet ran with it. And the person he's talking it's about who originally came up with My this, bad, I've been in his way the whole time. Oh! Who originally came up with this rumor, as he calls it, really an allegation, is this girl named Natalie Reynolds, who used to be quite close to Jack. I guess okay. she was within his OF fleet of girls. And now she's trying to be the one who like got loose from the farm and wants to live to tell the tale. The only problem is she's shown herself to not be a very trustworthy person either. And 
and I was gonna set it off the jump, you know what I'm saying? They look like, uh, you know, not trying to get canceled or anything, but, or not trying to, hey, let me just tiptoe around this lightly. Not trying to diminish or belittle anybody else's experience, but I feel like a lot of these times, these girls be throwing out that manipulation word kind of loosely. He manipulated me, but you walked on that yacht, drunk all them drinks by yourself, and signed that contract by yourself, and you're above the legal age. If that is all true, all them boxes were checked, I don't think manipulation is the case. But I get the underage part, you know, the young part, and, you know, but Jack Doherty is not old himself. He's not old. I think I'm older than him. He might be 19 or something like that. So, are we really going to throw out that manipulation card, too? Like, yes, he has some money and some power, but tell these girls to be like, hey, where your daddy at? You know what I'm saying? Like, because I, I promise you, let me ever find out my daughter is on a yacht party. With this goofy. Oh my god! I'm blowing up the yacht. Yes, she's the one who did the kidnapping kids prank. And yes, she's also the one that went to a public gym covered in body paint and clout demon problems. The whole internet runs with it, and now people believe it. It's so stupid. I, I hate that I even have to explain myself on it, but I'm younger than basically every girl I have signed except for like one. And that girl signed four months after her 18th birthday. So I have proof to back everything up if I need to, but it's just so dumb that people really like believe that type of shit and they want to believe it because they hate me and they just can't accept the fact that I'm doing well in life. So he's saying that all of this is total cap and that he's essentially just a good little online e-pimp who hasn't done anything wrong. I don't know about all that. Former employees, Matt, has really tried to step into the spotlight and give this story a little bit more shine while also talking about other messed up things that Jack has done. And this is where he begins to address him, where he says, some people are mad that I didn't talk about these allegations a year ago, but not everything is meant to be handled on the internet. He spent the last year of his life trying to make me look bad for clout, and I've ignored it. And it's time for people to realize the type of person who he is. And then he dropped this video where he discusses that further. All right, so I'm just gonna address this because it's getting way out of hand, but basically, one of my ex-employees, Matt, he spent the last year of his life trying to expose me and bring me down because he's very jealous and he always says I'm nothing without him, blah, blah. Can we just note that his haircut is just <laughs> absolutely diabolical? I was thinking that. That boy got a bush on the top of his head. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. What is that? He probably paid $100 for the haircut. People with money just be throwing any type of money out for any type of task. I'm not gonna lie. I might tip my barber if I really got it like that and he do a nice job, but you know, if it's a regular haircut, all I got was a lining, that's $40, right? You know, regular price, $40 is actually a lot. I don't pay $40. I'm thinking like 20, 25, but hey, his haircut ain't it. I truly believe that styling your hair like a stalk of broccoli <laughs> lowers your IQ by at least 25 <laughs> solid points. Oh my God. For five months and within that five months, you don't even want to know all the girls that have like came forward about what he's done to them which i'll get into that uh, in a so this, this is weird posting of him kissing my girlfriend in the back of an uber and here's the context to it just an absolutely insane sentence here's the video by the way that this guy matt keeps posting where apparently he kisses jack's girlfriend I'll take yeah. what I'll take shut the up. Just typical nasty Los Angeles influencer behavior. That's that weird. The first day I flew her down here, the day we all met her, and I literally had another girl in my bed when she flew down to my house that day. And then right after we went to a club, and she got all drunk, it was just all over McKinley, nonstop touching her, trying to kiss her nonstop, and she was super uncomfortable and didn't know what to do. And would start to do that with every girl and think they all want him, but they don't. So then this is what happened. We were on the Uber on the way home. I had a, I was in the second row with another girl. She was like on top of me, I was lying down, we were all drunk. He keeps trying to make it clear like, oh, I had another girl, I had another girl, she was in my bed. How is that she relevant? Was me in the car. I guess it must just be a huge insecurity to him that he's not some sort of womanizer ladies man. And so he literally does everything in his power to try and give himself that public image. But it's like, if he really had it like that, you wouldn't have to be constantly trying to throw it in everyone's face. Exactly. He don't even look cool, bro. He looked like he got stuffed in lockers in like in middle school, bro. Wow. Like he doesn't look like a cool kid. He looks like an entitled. What? An entitled? Oh, I can't even talk. Okay, it's one of them days. Oh. He looks like an entitled, spoiled brat. Oh, look at me. I had a silver spoon in my mouth the whole time. Yo, now I'm big rich. You know, not saying he didn't work for nothing or he didn't grind. But I'm just saying like. That's what it's coming off is. Like, it's not a good look. You look dumb. 
Like somebody tell him more of the people around him. He clearly don't got good people around him if they just letting him do all this dumb stuff. And like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this will get the clicks. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you got to do this to, to be relevant. But hey, that ain't it. And we all know these girls are hanging out with you because of the cloud opportunities. Exactly. They might receive. And I had my arm up like that. And she was, McKinley was holding my hand in the video of him kissing her. Nah, um, man. And you can see now you guys will not believe what Jack has to say next. But first, a word from today's video sponsor. Huh? You guys already know that. Sam I Curry wish I would. And I had my arm up like that, and she was McKinley was holding my hand in the video of him kissing her. Nah, um, man. And you can see the Sneako moment. <laughs> help, me, help me, he won't stop like touching me and trying to kiss me. What? I'm very uncomfortable. Like, please just help me, but just don't tell. Did me. I watch that video right? She kissed him back, did she not? What is he talking about? Like, that type of stuff makes me mad. Like, if the girl actually did say that, I have you in 4K video footage of you kissing this man back. You didn't be like, oh, get off of me. You said, mm, let me kiss you back. No. Stop. You can't use this words, bro. They be trying to, like, they, they get mad about something. Then they try to throw out all these crazy stuff to ruin you. What? Like, that stuff make me mad, bro. Like, and I know a lot of times the boys actually do be in the wrong, but, like, in these certain situations, like, with these OnlyFans girls that be trying to pull that, oh, you know, he manipulated me in the OnlyFans card. I kind of, like, kind of got a double take at it. Maybe I'm a victim blamer. Bruh. I said this to you, blah, blah, blah. So then me and my friend Logan had to go confront him about it, and he exploded, had a mental breakdown. I mean, I'll tell you guys right now, the LA scene or the influencer scene in general just seems to be an absolute nightmare. I mean, I'm sure you look around the room and it's like you're seeing a bunch of fucking piranhas. <laughs> you had to break down the door because she was screaming and crying in the room and you wouldn't let her out of the fucking room because you're a sick fuck. Yeah, so Jack is saying that he's going to be standing ten toes down, that he has the receipts, and that he's going to end this other man's career. Where? And here's the guy Matt's direct response to those claims that he was out in LA creeping. We're in the back of the Uber. And that's where you see the video of me kissing McKinley. And Jack wasn't even with the girl that entire day. He didn't have another girl. So I don't know what he's talking about that he had another girl. He's capping about it entirely. And he wasn't holding her hand in the car at all because he was in the passenger seat. So I don't know how you could hold her hand in the pat from the passenger seat and we're in the back seat. So he's. I don't know why, but this what? all sounds like a middle school last love triangle to me. <laughs> I was back in my room. I was asking McKinley, like, what's good with her? Like, do you want to get with Jack? Because if so, we share underwear, we can share girls. And she was like, no, no, you're good, you're good. Nah, that what? is a fucking nasty ass sentence, my guy. What? We share underwear? Did I hear that correctly? Oh my god. We share underwear. The day another man goes in my underwear drawer and puts them on like nothing happened be the last day he ever puts on anything again wow i'm not playing with him what's wrong with you bro that's my underwear you have dookie booty oh. i don't know if you wipe good come on bro there's probably all types of streaks in your underwear and you got the nerve to put on mine because you forgot a pair stop it i had this one friend that used to try to use my deodorant it made me mad that's weird bro that's weird. It's, it'd be different if it was spray deodorant. I used this deodorant on my armpits and you're gonna use it talking about you wiped it off? No. No, bro, that makes me mad. Why would you do that? Got a little off topic there, but these people are trifling. We share underwear? We can share girls? Why the fuck are y'all sharing underwear? Like to me, I'll share clothing, yeah, but your boys gotta go play in a different ballpark, okay? So I kinda got the gist that she wanted to move on to Jack. So that's why I literally asked her, like, I can give you up to Jack if you really want that. And what? I can give you up to him like she's some piece of property? God, everyone involved in this situation is just so down bad. And then he starts sharing these cringe texts that occurred between him and Jack's girlfriend before she ever showed up to his little mansion. So just more preteen activity going on between these adults. Hopefully I see you this weekend. Yes, I hope so too. I'll keep you guys updated. Just gotta get my bread up. You can easily get the bread up with us, trust. You don't really have an option, I might have to go over there and steal you. You can come steal me for show. Fill in my tank right now. I gotta get a few things before I get up there, but just for research purposes, what is your ring size? Oh my what? god. What? So he's basically saying, come with me and I can get you money, I can get you clouded, and I can buy you presents. So he's trying to really trick off on this chick. 
Okay, perfect. I just need to have that noted. Have your bag packing ready when I get there. I'm already packed up trust. Two steps ahead of you. I love a woman that makes my life easier. Where are her parents? Daddy. Sorry, daddy. Yes, papa. Come get your daughter. Oh. Oh my god. I don't know. I like I can't understand it, bro. Like imagine your daughter sending text messages talking about she's going to a mansion with these randos. And you just said, okay, Bethany, have a good time. What? What are we talking about here? What are we talking about? This is not okay. Here I am. Oh yeah, just a heads up. If you keep liking my stories, I might have to kiss you. Just a total skippy moment right there. And this is how you know a girl is hoeing, okay? At some point, she doesn't text him till three in the afternoon. Good morning. Bruh, I fell asleep at like four. He also shared this alleged very strange text from Jack, where I guess he's talking about his girlfriend apparently before they ever met. And he says, I'm gonna make McKinley, which is the girl, sign a waiver slash NDA, but it's really an OF contract, which that doesn't oh. sound legal to me. 3K a month in a t-shirt, I keep the rest. And I don't know if this guy like thinks it's a slam dunk to show his side of the text messages, but he says, ha ha ha, graped. Come on, at least 4K. She's hot, you know. So I guess if these texts are real and not doctored somehow, that's the way that Jack talks about this talent that he is recruiting all the time to make himself rich. All the haters about to write something in the comments to cope with the fact that they'll never be like me, and there's our guy. The face so of lame. The paid to have my Instagram banned. Now, if that isn't a little goblin, if I've ever seen one, I don't know what is. Actually, what's that movie from back in the day with the leprechauns? Now, this is the type of content that this guy, Matt, is pumping out. And Ryan hates Prime. And just recently, Prime sent me out their new strawberry banana flavor. So I thought I'd put him to the test by replacing it with his favorite strawberry banana drink to see if he can tell the difference. So, so basically, it's just brain rot for children, just like what Jack is creating. Exactly. Like That's another problem I have, bro. If this is supposed to be for children... Why, like, like they be trying to blend the lines. If you gonna go on a children deep end, stay on the children deep end. You can't go on the children deep end and then have OnlyFans girls. Talk. Oh, yeah, we're playing with my three boyfriends. What, like, nah, bro. Like, and my little brother watching that, bro. You got me messed up, bro. He didn't, and it's not his fault because he didn't scroll it and YouTube didn't put you on the for you page. Nah, bro, that is not it. Like. And the crazy part is, they all are doing the same thing. They all, like, I'm, like you can probably find three other videos of Jack Doherty doing the same thing. Why? Why do we watch this? It makes me mad. I'm not a hater, bro. I promise you I'm not a hater. Make your money. I'm just saying, like, present that to, like, us or something. Let, let, let the grown folks watch it. You know, and if we're not watching it, hey, I don't know what to tell you. But don't make it weird for kids. You know what I'm saying? We was watching SpongeBob back in the day. They got Jack Doherty, what? And flavor of it. While I was waiting for my drink, I was literally hitting the gwitty. Then eventually, my drink was ready for pickup. Hey. That's Hitting the gwitty? He lame. Oh, man, this man. Might be a more criminal offense than anything Jack's ever done. Now, one thing Jack basically likes to do in response to his haters is basically say, well, I'm still rich and y'all are still poor, so I'm still better than you. Like this boomer ass post he shares where he says, when someone don't like you, check your bank account to see if it made a difference. I gotta realize people are always gonna have something negative to say about me to make them feel better about themselves. Otherwise, they wouldn't take the time out of the day to comment at all. I mean, if I were in my 30s to 40s and didn't have two Lambos, I'd be mad too. Like, dude, no one is calling you out because of your money. Whoa. Everyone's just saying you are an absolute nuisance. And he's still trying to flex these paid-for girls that he took right out of their algebra class, where he said, <laughs> name another streamer that can pull like this. I mean, Jack, the chicks you're hanging out with could all pass for, like, 16 years old. In fact, that one on the right, I'm gonna have to blur out her face. She looks to be around 10. <laughs> this is Jack Doherty's audience, kids. Yet he promotes OF on all his channels. That's what I'm saying. The problem. And I do have to believe this is like the age of most people digesting his content. You're the type of guy to go full deep into a girl and say, do you feel it yet? No, she doesn't feel it, you f And oh. listen, guys, the streamer saga sure has been fun. Y'all know I love to cover some clout-chasing idiots, but... 
I think that this time period's coming to an end. In all seriousness though, this might be the last streamer video we make for a little while here on my channel. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this saga. I really do want to encourage you to go check out the sponsor of today's video, Sandbird. Right. I guess that's it, man. I mean, I mean, if it's his last video about it, I, I mean, so be it. I mean, maybe if we just leave it alone, they disappear. But I don't know. It just, it just makes me mad. Like y'all, I don't think I understand how mad I was when I walked past the TV and seen it on. I said, "Oh my goodness, why is he on my TV? I have never typed in this man's name in the YouTube search bar. Damn, I lied." And he's on my TV? Y'all done lost your mind. Y'all done lost your mind. I almost picked up a baseball bat, hit the TV, then hit my brother. Huh? It was going to be one of those days. I said, who is he on the screen? Get him off! No! Oh! Now! But what y'all think about this situation? I honestly don't think it's no good side. I think the left side and the right side is pretty bad. You know, the middle is bad. I kind of just want to stay out of it. You know, like, whatever they got going on, talking about these little girls and signing these OF contracts, I'm not defending nobody, I'm not on nobody team, y'all are weird for that. But, regardless, y'all let me know how y'all feel, like, are y'all on Jack's side, Matt's side, or y'all somewhere with me, we're like, hey, I don't want nothing to do with this, this ain't it. And also let me know how y'all feel about the OnlyFans thing, like, how their main audience is kids, and they're promoting OnlyFans at the same time, which is an adult website, like, I can guarantee you, 90% of their audience are under 11, 11 and under, 12 and under maybe, you know, you, there aren't 20 year olds going around watching Jack Doherty, I really believe that, and if there are, my, my bad, you know, that's crazy, so, I don't know man, y'all let me know how y'all feel down in the comments, and y'all know, if y'all enjoyed too much to subscribe, we're going to 10,000 subscribers, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, because it just makes sense to the like button if you like the video, no, it makes sense, please, I need it, I don't like you, Jack. And if I ever see you, I'm going to walk past you like I didn't even notice you, Mr. Moneybags. Give me that money. We gone.